Panorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Welcome to this week's episode of Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, right here on Adorama TV. Well, this week we have a great question from Dave Zuber. Dave wrote, I'm trying to shoot sports, but the pictures keep coming out blurry. Well, Dave, that's a great question. Probably what's happening is your shutter speed is too slow. The shutter in your camera is what controls motion. So if you want to freeze motion and get great pictures of athletes playing sports, you need to have a fast shutter speed. So to illustrate how the shutter works to freeze motion or show motion, we're going to go take some pictures of one of my biggest fans. Well, here I am with my biggest fan. I'm going to turn this guy on. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting at different shutter speeds to show you how slow shutter speeds will blur the fan blades and fast shutter speeds will stop them completely. Now, we're shooting inside because outside it's about 116 degrees and there's not a lot of light in here. So to shoot at high shutter speeds, we have to add some light. So these are constant lights. They're just going to be really bright lights on the fan and that's going to let me shoot with a high shutter speed. So it's going to look like the fan is totally overexposed in the video, but on the stills, it should work out just right. So I'm going to turn this guy on and turn my other light on. Now I'm going to grab my camera here. Now I have my camera in shutter priority mode and I'm going to start at about 80th of a second and then we're going to walk right up the chain. We're going to go 80, we're going to go to about 250th of a second, 500, 1000, 4000, 8000. And you know, again, when we look at the pictures, you'll see slow shutter speeds, lots of blur in the fan blades, fast shutter speeds, totally frozen fan blades. It'll look like the fan isn't even on. So let's start shooting. Again, I'm in shutter priority mode at an 80th of a second to start with. Okay, so here we go, 80th of a second. Wow, that's pretty cool. So take a look at these pictures and you can see clearly fast shutter speeds, freeze motion, slow shutter speeds, show motion. Well, that was a lot of fun hanging out with my big fan there. Well, there are a few other things that you need to know uh, before you start shooting sports. The first is your autofocus mode. So normally when you're shooting, you're shooting with your autofocus mode on one shot or single mode. And what that does is when you push your shutter release halfway down, your camera is going to focus on your subject and lock. And so that works great if you're shooting portraits or scenic photography, things like that. But it doesn't work when you're shooting sports because your athletes, your subjects are constantly moving. And so once you uh, focus and lock, well, they're going to move. And by the time you take the picture, they're going to be out of focus. So you need to change your focus mode and you can do this on any kind of camera. Um, so you want to take it on a Nikon. It's called uh, continuous focus mode. So we can flip this switch here on a Canon, it's called AI servo mode. So either AI servo mode for Canon cameras or continuous focus mode for Nikon and other camera brands. And what that allow you to do is continuously focus on the subject at hand. Now the other thing is if you have a lens, this one has one, uh, with vibration reduction or image stabilization, you want to turn that on. So this is a Nikon camera and it has vibration reduction. So we'll turn that on. Now if you have a Canon camera with a lens that has IS, it's the same thing. Also, you want to turn that on. Now some lenses like this one have another switch on it um, and it will say normal or active or on a Canon camera, it might say uh, mode one or two. Now the way that works is if you're shooting uh, normal sports and you want to correct for camera movement up and down and left and right, which is normal, you want to put that switch to normal or mode one if you're a Canon shooter. But if you're panning, which we talked about in a previous episode, and you're moving left and right, well you want the lens to compensate for motion that's up and down, but you don't want it to correct for motion that's left and right because you're doing that intentionally. And so that's why this switch has this active mode or on a Canon lens, mode two. Now, not all lenses have uh, vibration reduction or image stabilization, and those that do don't have this mode one or mode two and uh, active and normal. So if your lens doesn't have that, don't worry too much about it. Um, only some lenses have that. Okay, now once you have that set up, you need to make sure that your shutter speed is to the right speed. Now, there's a rule of thumb when setting shutter speed. 
Uh, and that is when you're shooting handheld, again, no tripod or monopod, you want to compensate for the movement of your camera because you're not going to be rock solid. So this lens is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And the rule of thumb says that you need to have your shutter speed at least as fast as the length of your lens or faster. So let me explain it. If I'm shooting at 70 millimeters on this lens, well, my shutter speed should be at least 70th of a second. So the next one up is actually 80th of a second. So I need to shoot at least 80th of a second or faster. And if I went to the 200 millimeter side of this lens, well, my shutter speed should be at least 200th of a second, but I encourage you to go a lot faster than that. The longer your lens, the faster your shutter speed is going to need to be to compensate for the movement of the camera. So I normally, uh, if I'm shooting at a 200 millimeter lens, I try to shoot at a shutter speed of about 500th of a second or faster. And to really freeze motion, you just want your shutter speed to be as fast as you possibly can get it before your camera starts complaining that there's not enough light to shoot. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. So let's go out, take a few shots, and put it into practice. Well, here we are in the park in 103 degree weather, and I'm shooting a free runner. His name is Jake, and he's gonna be running and bouncing off a building, and I'm gonna catch him in midair flipped upside down. So my uh, camera is set to shutter priority mode. I'm at 1600th of a second. My uh, drive mode is in continuous drive, and my focus mode is in AI servo. For Nikon shooters, that'd be continuous focus. So we're going to have Jake run and jump and we'll look, take a look at these pictures. So Jake, you ready? All right, go ahead. Perfect. Now take a look at these shots and you can see that Jake is absolutely frozen. Well, that was a ton of fun. Remember, if you're like Dave and you have a question about photography or photography-related equipment, you can send that to me at askmark at adorama.com. And don't forget that you can see all the pictures that we took and more information about this topic at the Adorama Learning Center. So go take a look and see what they have to offer. Well, we will see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.